What's good with my folks? You already know it's your boy, Mr. Ruff. I'm back here. So look, check this out. If I find a video that's popping, I'm going to put it at the end. So I may not have an explanation for it, just so y'all know heads up. But let's get right off into it. We're going to start off with Michael Bitch-Ass Boatwright. So apparently the cops went to his grandma's car or whatever, and they found the gun that they found the 22 caliber they found the ar-15 and they found two fucking masks so you fuck nigga it ain't nothing you can say it ain't nothing none of these dumb fuck ass niggas can say it's time to take these boys down as far as we can to the bottom of the pits fuck niggas i wish jail on nobody but y'all y'all killed like bro like come on bro y'all killed y'all killed the movement y'all killed something way more powerful than y'all could ever realize you fucking idiots so you know it's sad but I don't even want to keep on talking about these fuck niggas. Send them, send them down the river. Now, on to different news. Nicki Minaj, her new album. Yo, it's crazy because she been shooting a lot of little shots. But I think they like disses. But they like harm, like not really harmful disses. Like, you know what I mean? This is the era to where, I mean, she sits back and she kind of rides off of shit. So, you know, she kind of sit back when Drake and Jay-Z was going to make her little comments and shit. So, it's like she been hanging around six not enough to know, like, as far as, like, that little bit of controversy stirs up enough to help with your sales and you know she, she needs all the help she needs she needs with her sales so she's shooting little shots at eminem meek mill 50 cent like a little dumb ass shot to my 50 wouldn't fuck m will fuck her back in seven mile like a little dumb shit like it's cool it ain't all that but it still ain't gonna make an album pop like if the shit ain't sliding it just ain't sliding so she need to be more focused on that shit than you know what i'm talking about talking about niggas and shit but you know everything's a selling pitch so we know how that shit go. And next, hold up. Who we got up next? And next. Yeah, so we got you, Nikki. So on the other news, this nigga Takashi96 or 69, whatever this fuck ass is. So he done apparently got sentenced and they trying to give his ass three years. So now he trying to, you know, he he don't really want to go to jail. Like, nah, tighten up, nigga. Treyway, Treyway, Treyway screaming shot all that bullshit right now. Nigga, nah, you finna go down. Because the thing about it is, ain't no nigga in the streets got you, but motherfuckers been watching you. Even those white politicians, everybody don't really like what you're doing. So they like, yo, we gonna get this motherfucker. So one way or another, they trying to get you. And apparently, bro, you just seem to fail to realize that just because you can slide through in the rap world like the other world ain't paying attention, they ain't fucking with the shit you're doing. So, you know, I felt like YG or Slim 400 was gonna come for you, but now it's like you got jail, so... You're going to get your just do one way or another. So I think you need to chill out and just learn to relax and you'll be all right. And on to the last and final thing, Mr. Kanye Dumbass West. So Kanye has always been one of my favorite artists, period. I've always loved him and admire his work, especially with the earlier days, Champion, you know, Graduation. You know what I'm saying? He just did a lot of beautiful music and you understood the motivation and the struggle. And the thing about it is lately he just been... We know the whole Kim Kardashian has thrown them all the way off. And not really. I don't even want to knock her like that. Like, you know, he was just, you know, life. You know, niggas is fucked up, period. So, you know, he was already fucked up. She just didn't help to it. But, like, it's like he's supporting Trump, but he's on some dumb shit. Because he's only supporting Trump because everybody's telling him not to. And when people's like, when you stood up and said George Bush don't like black people, what's the difference with Trump? When Charlemagne asked him that question and when this nigga Jimmy Kibble asked him that question, he didn't say shit. So it's like you just on some dumb fuck nigga shit. Like straight up, like straight up, like you on some dumb fuck nigga shit. You ain't making no sense in what you doing. You tell me to do this, so I'ma do that. Like that's dumb as fuck. Like you gotta have some type of sense. We was respecting your logic. We was respecting your moves because it seemed like it had some logic behind it. But nowadays it seemed like you just on some dumb ass Ram Chambo dumb ass shit. I don't know, bro. You need to tighten the fuck up. But yeah, man. Um I don't know, guys. I'm about to look up anything else more interesting. I'll post it at the end. Other than that, oh, yeah, my bad. Look, in Juice World, this motherfucker Juice World, now he trying to retract his statements and talk about, you think I sold my soul well or well. But, bro, why would you even play like that? Like, why would you go through the whole process and the whole nine yards to sit up here and turn around and be like, no, I wasn't serious? Like, who does shit like that? Like, if you, you don't need attention, you low-key one of the, you the hardest little artists coming up. So why the fuck is you even doing that? Like, that's stupid as fuck. So nah, bro. Nah, bro. You're going to have to see something about that. We ain't going to necessarily do something, but you're going to have to see something about that. So you already know how we do it here with your boy, Mr. Ruff. Keeping it 100. Letting y'all know everything that's going on with my point of view.
So comment, subscribe, like. Make sure y'all subscribe too. Stop listening to a nigga and not subscribing, man. You know what I'm talking about? Keeping this shit real. This the this the this the this this the real fake academics. I put hands on niggas. <laughs> I just fuck with y'all. Y'all know it's all love. Alright, y'all.